this this article, I want to get your guys' thoughts on whether this guy's an asshole, because I've made my decision already. <laughs> I, I've made my decision as well. Uh, Go ahead. Are you going to do a read? So, oh, uh, no, I'm not going to. I'm just going to describe what he did. So basically, this douche, damn it, gave away my answer. <laughs> uh, so basically, this guy didn't want to pay $50 to bring his, uh, his clothes and luggage on a plane, and so he wore like eight or ten layers of all his clothes and then tried to get on the plane. And they said, no, you can't get on the plane because you basically made yourself into a big fat person. He's going to take up <laughs> like two seats or whatever, and you've only paid for one. And he was saying like, oh, that's not fair. You can't do that. That's ridiculous. You, I, I, you said I had to either bring the clothes on or pay the luggage fee, and I wore them all. And it's like, first of all, this is clearly a publicity stunt unless this guy balloons in weight between his current size and 50 pounds heavier by the day because whatever fucking pants he pulled on eighth – do not fit. <laughs> oh, that's those a good do point. not fit his actual body. He's not going to be able to wear those on this trip. This is a stunt, and this guy wanted to be kicked off a plane so he could like get some Twitter followers. These wow. kind of people. And think of think of all the man hours and minutes wasted as people were just sitting on this plane trying to go, trying to go visit family, trying to go to a work trip or whatever. While this smarmy douche, given his like biting his lip, you know, coy look into the camera of like, what are you going to do? Are you well, sure what you could do is pay the fucking $50. With the least I'm paying, bias I'm, possible. No, this is, the, this is my <laughs> bias. This is, this is the way I perceive it. So yeah, this guy is a prick. Uh, they should have banned him from the airline and they should have seized seven layers of his clothes for their trouble. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom <laughs> seven. The bottom seven, yeah. and he's got to go out of there with some giant, like, ill-fitting camp t-shirt and some, like, uh, parachute pants. You know, Yo, why are you, oh. so pass- why, are you, why are you so passionate about this guy, man? Because I can picture <laughs> myself know. sitting on the plane adjacent to him and watching someone doing their little joke and looking at everybody else on the plane who's got shit to do, places to go. And it's like, God, it didn't even cross your mind that this little stunt is phenomenally inconsiderate to everyone else who has something to do that day. How long, so was, how, how, long, how long was the plane delayed? It's more than any amount of time. It's too long. <laughs> so, this, is, this is why I ask. Cause I, I see people on, um, and I'm not saying uh, you're this pretentious, but I see people on planes <laughs> um, all the time. <laughs> and like, th- like they'll be defrosting the plane or there's a mechanical issue. They have to gas it or whatever. And it's like a 20, 30 minute delay. And people lose their fucking minds. And it's bullshit. And I'm like, yo. Like go go build a plane. Like it's the most convenient way to travel ever, and you're sitting here on your high horse thinking like you can get there faster somewhere. If Forty minutes is gonna go by. Like just sit down and shut the fuck up. Like that's different though because this guy. If that's why that's why I, ice off of the plane. I want them to take as much time as they need to make sure the plane is gonna be safe in the air. I don't want to be like oh just half ass it get us up there. Like that needs to be done. This guy is not serving any purpose. He just threw on a bunch of clothes to get on a. Perth now would you rather sit day. next? Would you rather have to sit next to this guy, or a man who weighed four hundred pounds? This guy. <laughs> oh, this guy. Yeah, because I don't know what it is about four hundred pound people. I just assume they're kind of slimy, right? Literally, like, literally. Think, no, Ooh, yeah, man. literally. That's all. I'm not talking about personality wise. I just think well, if you touch I, them, they're kind of greasy. It's both. It would be. <laughs> they're, I, I, they're very sticky folk. Right, you know I mean? right. Like you know, they, like, they, they look like if you threw a handful of sand at them. A lot of it would just stick. <laughs> yeah, like like it our would friend create like a paste. Our friend yeah. had MRSA in one of his folds, right? That ki- that that's a cleanliness issue, right? Really? Like that, yeah. I, it, he, I just assume it's a little dirty under there. The anterior fold on his thorax. Yes. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, this is, this, if you're that big, I think you've got hygiene. If you're familiar too. with caterpillar anatomy, it was like the torso <laughs> version of a labia majora. <laughs> <laughs> he was growing a pussy on his side, <laughs> a very smelly pussy. When they drained it in the doctor's office, because he blogged this shit, you know, he's got his, he's got a camera on him while they're like draining this thing. It smelled so bad they had to open the door. Yeah, oh. in an operating room. <laughs> yeah. They had to air it out to the outdoors. That was good shit, man. That was good that shit. Was I love that video. I watch that every now and then. I feel so much better about myself. Just oh my that gosh. brightens my whole day up. <laughs> it brightens my whole fucking day up. I'm like, oh, at least one of my flaps wasn't infected. Jeez. <laughs> that's a that's like what a TLC shows will do for you too. Like, cause like all TLC TLC shows seem to be like these shows that are basically gawking at freaks but they're masquerading around like they're helping people. Like, hey, watch, uh, 
watch all the, this whole midget, uh, this little person family go about their business and whatnot. And like, they're like, wow. And look at the struggles they face. It's like, you just spent three minutes trying to look at him, get up into a truck. You're <laughs> you could have helped if Taylor. that were a thing. Building Taylor. codes make their counters normal people height. And you know, yes. Yeah, they struggle. But, what Taylor, of? did you hear what Chiz calls wings now? No, it's, I'm oh sure it's. Oh my God. Horrible. But it's probably oh. not for public. I'm scrolling. Low blood sugar daddy. <laughs> oh Low blood <laughs> sugar daddy. Is, yeah. Low blood sugar daddy. Sugar daddy. Because you know, his blood sugar controls his life, as he has said in his in his streams. And, you know, he's he made it rain on on, on those lady friends of his. Low, low blood sugar daddy. I, I really got a kick out of that. Well, that's an interesting pun. Well done, Yes, yes well done. Uh, I still feel bad. But, Ah, uh, no. no. Come on. Don't feel bad. Like, We're going to do show. wings versus blade later. Just, you got to hang on tight. What are, are you going to just fly oh my off God. the I'm like, a, I'm like a guest that can't keep up with the show at this you point. You see his eyes? <laughs> you see what he's eyes? He's like, oh, we're going to do that? <laughs> <laughs> so we were talking about